Hey, what's up, guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the New York Central J1E, and this is the 464 Hudson. It's a non streamlined version of the New York Central Hudson, and it's commissioned by Elbow Boy, aka Frost, who's here for the video. He actually commissioned a couple of things in the past, and uh, yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. So, I built the streamlined version before, so this is the non streamlined version, and sorry, you know, the shaders. Uh, things are going to look pretty dark since most of this locomotive is nether brick and black concrete, so it's a bit hard to see, so maybe I'll turn off the shaders for the tutorial. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. It's very detailed compared to the steam locomotives that I built in the past, and I got some help from some builders on um, my server. I got some nice feedback, like Anna and Diamond helped a little bit. And uh, I also like looked at other designs to see what else I can change. You know, usually... I make steam locomotives with black wool, but this time I decided, you know what, we should go uh, black concrete because it looks a lot cleaner. And uh, Frosty is swimming very nice. <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, this locomotive actually has an interior for this build. So you can see right here, this is the cab. And we have a couple of uh, seats you can sit down. And we also do have like a cab window you can look out in the front. You know, usually... I would use like banners for that, but I realized, you know, you can actually have like physical uh, window that you could see from the front. All right, so I turned off my shader so you guys can see the build a lot clearer. And let's get started on the tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add the front pilot. So we're gonna take out another brick stairs and we're gonna place that three blocks on top of the tracks. And you wanna make the edges so that they're cornered. They face outwards like that. Behind it, we're going to add three blocks wide, upside down, another brick stairs facing the back. And then we're going to add the leading wheel, which is just a, a pair of black concretes with a dark oak fence gate in the middle. And this is the new axle design, which is a lot more accurate. Then we're going to skip two blocks and add another pair of wheels like this. All right, cool. And then to the sides of the front wheel, we're going to add a dark oak button. All right, next in the front, we're going to add a dark oak slab right here for the coupling. And then we're going to take out another brick stairs. And we're going to have it three blocks wide on top, like so. And then we're going to connect these two wheels together using another brick slabs either side. The other edge, we're going to add a dark oak fence gate in there. And then a dark oak trap door. Same thing on the other side that and then we're going to add a black concrete right above this um, dark oak trap door like that both sides in front of it we're going to add another brick wall like so all right so then we're going to add an upside down another brick stairs right in front of the wall and right side up on top of that like so and then same thing on the other side it's going to be a little tricky like that goes up and there's actually another another brick wall on the inside part so add that like so and then we're going to add three blocks wide of um, black concrete right there all right so then i guess we'll add in another brick slab in between these um, another brick walls like that and behind it we're going to add it looks to be three blocks wide black concrete like so and on top of that we're going to add a plus sign using black concrete it's going to be the boiler and where the smoke box is and we're going to extend that uh, one block towards the front like that now at the tip we're going to add another brick slab right here and then a dark oak trap door underneath then at the very tip we need to add in uh, sorry, I need to grab this right now. But we're going to place an item frame. It's going to be a lamp. And place a white glass pane inside of it. Like so. The right hand side, we're going to add a dark oak fence gate right there. And we're going to open it up. And this is the part where it swings open the smoke box or the boiler cover. Then we're going to add dark oak buttons for top and then this side right there. And then we're going to take out uh, this iron uh, bar and we're going to add in 
two blocks down here two blocks tall and then a, one on the side of this uh, black concrete same thing on the other side like that and the reason why um, my original one it doesn't connect while this one does connect is because I use like a debug stick to turn that off I don't know if you guys have a debug stick not everyone does uh, but I do so that's why I made it a little better alright so next we're going to add the driving wheels which are these big wheels here so we're going to place uh, nether brick stairs uh, right here facing the front and then upside down in front of it upside down the back of it so you got that shape and then um, next layer we're going to add an upside down one on the very top and facing the back on top of that the other side do the same thing so it's like symmetrical like that and the top one we're going to have that nether brick stairs upside down facing the back in the middle we're going to have nether brick stairs just right side up facing outwards so this is basically the driving wheel design the new design that I have and then we're going to skip a block and repeat the same thing over here so uh, let's just do the same thing here adding these stairs so we got a nice circular shape and they're going to be quite similar or the same as the other ones like that right side up and actually I need to make this one face the front and the top one face the back so we got that second wheel and now we're going to make the third wheel right here just the same thing right here just a bunch of stairs and you can do this whatever order you want once you get the hang of it you can do it whatever feels most comfortable to you just do that part like that so we got these three driving wheels now uh, once we do that we're going to add in another brick wall in between like that right there and cool and we're going to do the same thing on the other side all right so once we do the other side it should look like this same thing and don't forget to add the nether brick wall in between the wheels like that all right then we're to go up here in the front you could take black concrete and add well pretty much fill this area in like so and then we're to add another brick slab on top of that axle like that all right next we're going to go on the inside of the wheel let's add a black concrete uh, two blocks above the ground all the way across to the back wheel all right then we're going to add a black concrete on the row above it from the front all the way to the back like so once we have that we're going to go in between the front two driving wheels and we're going to delete this block in the middle and add another brick slab right there very nice so that there's like a little tiny hole and now we can add in uh, the pistons or the valve gear and to do that we're going to add in these three iron trap doors like that and then we're going to go to the next driving wheel and we're going to add six iron trap doors like that and then the back we're going to add another four and then we're going to add two stone slabs here then a stone brick stairs facing the back and then another stone slab all right and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side what we did so far we're going to add these three iron trap doors go to the second wheel and add six of these iron trap doors and then we'd add four on top of the back ones and then two stone slabs and then stone brick stairs facing the back and then a stone slab and then uh, that's what we got so far and once we reach this part we're going to add in another stone brick stairs here and then stone brick wall and then a birch fence gate and a birch fence on top of this area and then another brick stairs upside down uh, right behind this and then a stone slab and then two nether brick stairs facing the front like that 
And we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Just add the stone brick stairs here, stone brick wall, stone or <laughs> birch fence gate, birch fence, and then upside down uh, another brick stairs here, and then stone slab, and then we're gonna have two nether brick stairs facing the front like so. All right, cool, looking good so far. All right, so at the back, we're gonna skip two away from the driving wheel. Let's add a pair of black concretes like that. Let's add hoppers to the sides of it. And then in the middle, we're gonna add dark oak fence gate like that. Then we're gonna skip a block and add uh, two of these upside down nether brick stairs back to back. It's gonna be one of the trailing wheels like so and then uh, inside here we're going to add in uh, another brick slab just connect these two wheels together and then we're going to take out dark oak fence gate and we're going to add two of them here and then we'll add another brick slab here same thing on the other side just two dark oak fence gates and another brick slab. Then in the middle, we're gonna have uh, this two by three of nether brick slabs like that. And we're gonna raise the middle part up by one like that. Then we're gonna take out dark oak fence gate, open up here and open up over here. Same thing on the other side, like so. All right, next on top, we're gonna add two black concretes in the middle and then another brick wall, black concrete again, and then two nether brick stairs upside down. And they're gonna be facing the front and underneath this part, we're gonna need a dark oak trap door and add it right there. All right, and then we're gonna connect the bottom areas together with five blocks wide of nether brick slabs cross like so. And on the outer edge, we're gonna add a dark oak trap door and then two nether brick slabs nether brick stairs out facing outwards and then an upside down nether brick stairs and nether brick stairs facing the back same thing on the other side trap door two slabs uh, stairs facing outwards and then an upside down one and then facing the back like so all right so next we're going to add another brick slab to the back uh, three blocks long on top of the last one, add three blocks wide nether brick slab. Then we're going to add an upside down nether brick stairs at the edges. Right side, one on top. And nether brick slab underneath that bottom rung. So that is the start of the tender area. And then in between, we need to add in a dark oak trap door. We're going to make a two by three right here and this is the attachment that goes in between and we're going to add black carpet and add it right on top like so and then we're going to add in a three by three of black concrete right in front of that trap door like so and then we're going to go on the outer edge and we're going to make four blocks long black concrete same thing on the other side all right so in the front we're going to add an upside down uh, another brick uh, stairs like this and this is pretty much the cab window that you'll see same thing on the other side so these two upside down stairs and on top, we're going to add four blocks long of nether brick stairs facing outwards. Same thing on this side. And then we're going to take out a uh, light gray glass pane or <laughs> glass block. We're going to add two blocks here, black concrete. Same thing on the other side. All right, then we're going to add two blocks tall of glass panes like that in the back. These are going to be the railings which are black. Alright, then we're going to add a dark oak uh, buttons 
We could add uh, four of them like this on both sides. In the middle, we want to add in the numbers, which are going to be a uh, bird sign. You could place the numbers there if you want to. Both sides, like so. All right, then we're going to go on the inside of this cab area. We're going to add another uh, another brick stairs. It's going to be curved uh, outwards, both sides, like that. So it matches up with the other window like that. The middle, we're going to add a magma block. And this is going to be the fire. Let's add that right there. And then we're going to add black concrete on all three sides of it like that. And maybe even the bottom, if that even matters. I don't even know. Yeah, well, let's add on the bottom. Um, like so. And then on the top, we're going to add three blocks wide. Black concrete like that. In the middle, we're going to add a dark oak uh, fence gate. I'm going to open it up. Oak trap door underneath it. Close it up. And then we're going to add a birch button above in the middle. And then an oak button on the left-hand side and acacia button right hand side in the bottom corner like that and then we're going to add another brick fence on this side so there's actually also um, seats to go along with this so to make the seats uh, they're going to look like this and they're going to be aligned with the this window here just add in this dark oak slab like that with a spruce slab close it up, or a spruce trap door, I mean, close it up. So we have this nice seat, and we're going to have two of them, like this. All right, very cool. And then on the very top, we're going to add in a three by, let's say, five of another brick uh, slabs. So it's going to stick out by one past the cab, like that, and we're going to add one additional slab to the sides of the roof like that very nice so far and then in the front we're going to add uh, two blocks long of black concrete here we're going to make it three blocks wide like that and then we're going to add black concrete in the middle make it go all the way towards the front like so then in the front we're going to add in these uh, five nether brick stairs on sides on top one two three four five and then two black concrete blocks same thing on the other side one two three four five and then two black concrete blocks in the middle we're going to add in these two nether brick slabs like that in front of it we're using this uh, it's an actual minecraft bill which rings now we did update to 1.15 and then in front of it we're going to skip a block and let's add another brick slab and a wither skeleton skull uh, facing the back in front of it we're also going to add two more wither skeleton skulls in the front like that i think they're like lanterns all right looking good so far and then um on the sides right between this middle section i'm going to add another brick stairs across all of it like so same thing on the other side and then uh, let's add in these two nether brick slabs here then two dark oak trap doors on either side of it like so and then we skip a block here and add another brick slab and then a wither skeleton skull just skip one block away and add it right there in the middle and we're going to add it on the side of that slab. Then we're going to skip uh, three blocks, one, two, three, and add another, um, another brick slab like that. Then go to this portion here, take out dark trap door, dark oak trap door, just add it on both sides like that. And I believe that is pretty much it for the roof detail on the front section. Now, Let's go inside here, underneath these stairs, we're going to add a row cross of black concrete all the way across, like so. 
Same thing on the other side, just add it all the way across. And it goes like that. Sorry, it's kind of even, even in like defaults, kind of hard to see in this black concrete. All right, and then in next to the cab, we're gonna add two more black concrete blocks underneath that row. And we're gonna add in these two uh, dark oak trap doors like that and black carpet on top. Same thing on the other side, like so. All right, cool. Next, we're gonna add end rods going from the cab right here all the way to that iron bar in the front. Like that, same thing on the other side. And these end rods all the way across. Towards the front, like so. Very nice. All right, then we're gonna to go to the front of the cab and let's add in this andesite block right down here and we're gonna make it so it's gonna be five blocks long so one two three four five like this and then on the top row we're gonna add three blocks long fan to sight like that and same thing on the other side just add uh we're just start the front of the cab five blocks long and then three blocks long on top then I'm going to add andesite um, stairs, and that's going to be on this row here. It's going to go all the way across. Sorry, it's kind of hard to place it when you're like this. Um, how am I gonna, Let's place a block temporarily here so I can place it inside like that. And you know what? We'll just leave it like that. And then we'll add a andesite slab here. And then two iron trap doors right behind it. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Like that, and that is gonna be our firebox. And let's add another and same between those blocks. All right, looking good, looking good so far. And then uh, in the middle, I wonder if it's even necessary. Might not actually be necessary. So let's just add in these uh, another brick stairs in the front of this firebox. It goes all the way across because it's going to be, yeah, it looks to be the same. So let's go back here. And we're going to take out another brick stairs, go in front of the firebox, and add upside down all the way towards the front. Right there, same thing on the other side very hard to see because it's so dark uh, but we'll get there and you'll see like there's this little part over here we can cover that with um, that black concrete just where like that slab is in between the first two wheels of the driving wheels like that and then we should be good because you can't really see the rest inside all right, cool. So then we're going to take out another brick fence. Let's go to the back of the cab and we're going to add an L shape right here. Like that, same thing on the other side, L shape. And then we're going to take out dark oak fence gates and we're going to add uh, four in front of this fence. So one, two, three, four. And then two nether brick uh, fences like that. Let's do the other side, same thing. Just four fence gates and then two fences diagonally up. And then we're gonna add three fence gates in the front of each of those fences. Same thing on the other side. Like that. All right, next we're gonna add dark oak trap door all the way across towards the front where that stairs is. And just add on the other side, just the bottom row, dark oak trap doors all the way across to that stairs right there. Then we're gonna take out uh, another brick stairs and we're gonna have that upside down all the way across to that last or that first uh, dark oak um, trap door right there. 
Same thing on the other side, just add in these upside down, nether brick stairs like that. All right, and then we'd go right above, above this nether brick fence, add nether brick slab all the way across towards the front. And we're gonna go one block past the stairs. Same thing on the other side. Just go one block past the stairs. All right, cool. Next, we're gonna add another brick stairs dangling up from the other stairs, like so. Same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna take out dark oak uh, trap doors, add it across all the way right underneath that uh, another brick slab, and then we'll add in black uh, carpet right above it. Same thing on the other side, of course. like so all right next we're to go right here to the trailing wheels and you'll see where this upside down nether brick stairs is we're going to add in nether brick slab inside part it's going to be adjacent to that black concrete as well and do that on the other side make sure i'm doing this right and then we'll add a nether brick wall right here on the inside part of that nether brick uh, fence both sides like that. All right, then we're gonna go back into the front, right above the cylinder, we're gonna add uh, another brick stairs facing the back, another brick uh, slab right behind it. Same thing on the other side, like that. All right, so it looks like we're pretty much done with the main engine. Now we're gonna add in the tender. So let's go down here and we're gonna add three blocks wide, black concrete and 17 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And do the rest all the way across. Like so. And then we're to go to the side here. Add black concrete, two blocks tall like that. Same thing on the other side. And I'm going to make this segment so it's going to be four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Other side, same thing. All right, then we're going to take black concrete and add it across the bottom row all the way to the back. Same thing on the other side. All the way to the back. All right, and then we're gonna add these three uh, quartz slabs. Skip one, two quartz slabs, skip one, two quartz slab. And the other side, we're gonna flip the pattern, so it's gonna be two, skip one, two, skip one, three. Uh, black concrete in between, and then following in all the way to the back. All right, cool, and then uh, we're going to add a row cross, go to the front, skip a block, black concrete all the way to the back. And same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add it on the inside part of these uh, quartz slabs for all of them like so. And then we're going to go to the back and add three black concretes here and then three quartz slabs like that. Then a row across the top with black concrete and inside place uh, black concrete as well like that. And then we're going to add a three by three of black concrete inside here. So three blocks long, three blocks wide like that. All right, so once we're at the back section, we can add in a dark oak uh, button right here in the middle. And also on the left-hand side of that, on top there's gonna be a stone button. It's gonna be one of the lights or lanterns, whatever you wanna call it. And let's add an item frame around it. Left-hand side of that is gonna be a birch button. Then on this side, there's going to be a little, a little ladder, three dark oak fence gates, open them all up. 
and then we'll add another brick fence all the way across the top section like that then on top we're going to uh, skip two blocks and then we're going to add two dark oak trap doors like that left hand side we're going to add a wither skeleton skull right there Alright, so then let's work on the bottom section. Uh, double nether brick slab here, nether brick slab on the side, and nether brick stairs with a slab underneath. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add the coupling, which is a dark oak slab right there in the middle. Alright, then we'll add a dark oak fence gate right here. Open it up. And let's have another brick stairs either side facing the back. Let's go to the front, and we're going to have these two nether brick stairs. And we want to make them face each other on either side. Like that. And we'll add a black concrete underneath that stairs. Add black concrete on the inside. Let's make a little T shape here. And then the inside part, we're going to add another brick slab hovering above the ground and black concrete on top with a dark oak button right there then on top we're going to add another brick stairs facing the front and then we'll have another brick stairs facing outwards all the way then we're connected together uh, with the back section like that same thing on the other side Uh, then in the middle on top, we're going to add another brick stairs facing towards the back and another brick uh, walls on the sides of that. And then another, another brick stairs facing towards the back, either side like that. And then we can also uh, add in some black concrete inside right underneath that another brick wall. All right, and then the other side, we're going to add another brick stairs, three blocks facing the front, right there. So now we have like this giant box, and we can fill that in using actual coal blocks. So fill that in, like so. In in 1.16, they're going to have like this new uh, dark colored black slab, which I'm planning to use for coal. That'll be nice, and then we can have like a nice coal heap shape. But for now, it looks like that. And now we can add in um, dark oak uh, buns. Let's go to the back here, skip one, three blocks down like that. Skip one and do the same thing. And we're going to keep doing that. And you're going to want to avoid the letters. If it touches that, just skip it all the way to the front. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just three blocks tall and avoid the letters. like so. It's got that nice shape. Now let's work on the bottom a little bit. So go right down here, skip one away from that ladder, and then we'll add a pair black concrete. Skip one, another pair, skip one, and another pair. And then we'll add in dark oak fence gates in between like that. And then we'll add in hoppers, sides of all the wheels like so and between that there's going to be a uh, dark oak fence gates that are connecting all the wheels together and we'll add another brick slab connecting the hoppers at the very bottom like so so we got that nice shape so then we're going to go to the back do the same thing just skip one away from the ladder add a pair of wheels skip one pair of wheels again and another pair of wheels. Uh, let's go inside part. Add in the axles, which are just dark oak fence gates. And dark oak fence gates uh, in between the wheels and hoppers to the sides. And another brick slabs in between that. Same thing on the other side. I wonder how long this tutorial has been because it's been quite long. But we're just doing the same thing over like that. Very nice. All right, so then right above uh, these, all these wheels, we're gonna add in upside down another brick stairs like that. 
for the other one, do the same thing. Go to all the other ones, add in the stairs, and then we're going to add in another brick slab in between for the rest, all the way across like that. Same thing on the other side, just another brick slabs like that. And then we're going to go to the back here, skip one away, add another brick slab underneath, and add another one diagonally outwards on this side, so it looks like that. Alright, so our last stage now, let's go in between the cab and the tender. I'm going to add one more black carpet right there in that nook, just to make it look different. And yeah, that's basically it on how to build a New York Central J1E Hudson 464 steam locomotive in Minecraft and thanks to Frost for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys like this video remember to hit that like button down below because it helps the channel and subscribe if you had already because I'll be uploading more tutorials like this in the future and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.